All right, everybody, welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today, I want to be showcasing a weapon that last night I was going through my chest and I honestly didn't even know I had it. And I pulled this thing out and it has one of the coolest um, L2 passive animations I have seen. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to show you all the combos and then we're going to put them on some guys real quick. So let me show you the weapon itself real quick. It's the... Um, ornamental straight sword. Now it has golden tempering. It says no passive effects. But let me show you this real quick here. I'll show you the weapon. You can see it. I have it in hand right now. And I only have one in hand, but it shows it dual wield. Now watch. Here's the L1 attack. Oops, sorry. R1 attack. All right. Here is the running R1 attack. Alright, here's the R2 attack. There's me holding R2. Now, here's the thing. If you hold L2, watch that. Pulls it out. Now, if you hold R2, watch this attack animation. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. So awesome. Let's see that again. <laughs> oh, let's go put it on some guys. All right, the only downside of this I've noticed is that you have to hold R2 pretty long and be pretty far before the animation starts. Oh my god. Gosh, and let's see the level. I don't even have this thing leveled up. I haven't leveled it up or anything. It is that that is really cool. I don't know how good it is, you know, when it levels up. But, well, we staggered him, so you have to have him activated. Because I held R two right there. Let's go try it on one more guy, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. Let's see this fella. Oh, poor guy. He don't even know what's going to happen to him. But like I said, the wind-up takes a while. You got to be pretty far away. Jeez. That is cool. I mean, that's nuts. Oh, that, that animation right there just destroyed him instantly. Those are really cool. Let me show you how to get him real quick. All right. And... To get this sword, it is a little bit of a challenge, but over here on the west, over at Lyrnia, I think it would be classified as, is the four belfries, as you'll see right here. So you got to travel to this location. Let me show you really quick. And if you guys remember, in the very beginning of the game, there was that grafted weird spider boss that it felt like you were destined to die to. <laughs> Well, you have to fight that, but let me show you how to actually get there. So you'll see these towers right here. This is the side of grace. I'm at the side of grace. So you can see on the map. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to come down this way to this tower right in front of me. And you're going to need a stone key, but up here is a chest right here. And if I'm not mistaken, I got it from there. I might already had it, but I'm pretty sure that chest will give you one. You come down here. And you'll see a gargoyle. You put the stone key inside the gargoyle, obviously. And it will allow you to teleport. So, teleport to the location. Now, what's cool is this location, you're going to notice that it looks like the very beginning of the game. Like, it's identical. But it's in ruins. So, you'll see, like, this is the beginning of the game. Kind of cool. It's in ruins. And you'll come up here and just be ready to fight. Because just like in the beginning in this area, you're going to have to fight him. And then when you fight him, he drops it. So this is going to be the area. And after you fight him, he'll drop the weapon. And I would go up here and run around. I'm not going to show you because I don't want to waste your time. But in that castle, there is a lot of, you know, just items and things to loot. So after you beat him, I'd loot that whole area. And that's that. So if this video helped you out. Um, obviously, all likes are appreciated. Let me know in the comments section, are you enjoying Elden Ring right now? Are you having a lot of fun? I personally am having a blast.
other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Later.